Hello, in this video we are going to cover breadcrumbs. So let me show you what a breadcrumb is. I'm going to create a nav and I've got a separate video covering navs so feel free to check them out. I'm going to put an area that's label of breadcrumb. Like I said, I've got a separate video covering navs and nav bars and all of that's you know similar type of navigational stuff but this isn't you know explaining what a nav is. But in, in here, what we can do is have an unordered list and we'll have a class of breadcrumb. And in there, we can have a few list items as we normally would with all, you know, unordered list. No, I mean, ordered list because it's, oh, you will be unordered, my bad. And for a class of breadcrumb dash item. And in here, we can put, I'll just put home first and I'll modify it so it looks a bit better after. You can have as many as you want, you can have one, two, three, four, as many as you want. So user, and let's say profile. So if I save that, and if we go, we got this nav. So the gray part is the nav, but this is the breadcrumb. So imagine if we're on the profile page, it's just basically saying the profile page is part of the user sort of system page. That's part, you know, before that you would go to the home page. Usually these would be clickable. So we can actually do that. So that's what I was about to do, but I didn't do because I wanted to show you what it would look like without it being, you know, a you know href tag or an anchor tag with href attributes. href equals, I'm just gonna put hash so that way, you know, it's not doing anything. You know, obviously you can make a link to a certain page if you have a certain page on your website. And we can do this for this one as well. Oh, I did the square root, <laughs> that was pretty cool. And uh, there we go, if I refresh, we got two no clickable things. Again, they don't do anything because you know this is a front end. This isn't, isn't the purpose of that. If you have some back end and you want to go to another page, you've got to use a page or homepage potentially. You can do that. The reason we have made profile clickable because it's the one we're already on. And what you can also do, you can actually provide a class of active and it's recommended for the area current to be set to page as well. It's a slightly grayed out. It's just for a bit of extra styling that's built in, but you don't have to do that. You can leave the other default black. You could provide your own styling. It's totally up to you. So that's it. That's it for breadcrumb. It's a really great way of showing the user essentially the flow of the website that they've gone through and how to get back to it. instead of you know constantly clicking backwards, backwards, backwards. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, all the links will be in the description and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.